Disney News Review Time. Some of the stories worth touching on from the last week. Disneyland Forward coming at us in the city of Anaheim. That's right. Resort officials have invited its Anaheim neighbors to community coffee events at local parks so officials can explain what the uh, proposed plan, rather, known as Disneyland Ford, entails and gives residents a chance to ask questions about the proposed expansion with eight more roadshow events coming up. The proposed plan details the ways in which officials want to update and renovate the Anaheim theme park. The project will include new attractions, shops, and restaurants within its existing 490-acre footprint, according to the Los Angeles Times. The company has not announced how much a possible expansion would cost, but it previously stated that the endeavor would be privately funded. While Disney hasn't officially announced how the theme park expansion will materialize, many Disney fans have theorized that Disneyland could get Tangled, Frozen, or Zootopia-inspired lands along with others. Garrett, why the uptick in these road shows all of a sudden? What's going on, do you think? I think it's just some good old-fashioned word-by-mouth kind of marketing because, you know, Disney's a big company and unless you're within, you know, our kind of circle where we constantly talk about Disney news, a lot of people may not know what is going on and Disneyland is probably the reason why Anaheim is as big as it is. Like, it, like you know, Walt bought a bunch of orange groves and, you know, out popped Disneyland and the city built around it. So by going to these local events, you get the locals and be like, hey, if you haven't been to Disney World in a while, here's some exciting things that are coming. And then you get the word of mouth going around and then it just grows and grows and grows because you don't really want to put out a commercial for Disney. That's like, hey, we're possibly going to be building this, this and this. That doesn't really sell well in terms of commercial. You, The commercials Disney puts out are things that are currently happening like Tron out in Disney World or, hey, we just built Marvel. Cam- uh, we just built the Marvel Avengers Campus. Come check it out. So I think the uptick in these is, you know, word of mouth, get people out there, put a face to the Disney name where you see, hey, rather than just some corporate entity, you see, hey, these are the Imagineers, these are the managers and the leaders in charge of this project. And then you get that community outreach, which is good PR overall, because PR in a way can almost be more effective than just, you know, just putting out, you know, advertising because PR It helps everything. And then, you know, you might get a few people be like, no, what? I haven't been to Disney World in a while. Let's go check it out. And then you get a few extra bucks in the Disney bank account that uh, supports uh, Scrooge McDuck Enterprises. Oh, my. Yeah. How about that? It's almost like Disney's a business and and it's trying to, you know, grow. Almost. Yeah. (laughs) And uh, almost. Who swims in the money? Scrooge McDuck. Oh, okay. Everybody well, knows that. that. It's, 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 it's his, it's his, you know, it's his, you know, bin, but, but he never swims with his lucky dime. Gotcha. Like he keeps that thing lucky, locked away. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sorry. I, I, sorry. I'm unaware DuckTales of these things. Like, what's you don't up? watch DuckTales, dog? DuckTales? I watch yeah. DuckTales, yeah. Is that what you're asking you know, me? That, well, yeah, because that Scrooge jumps in the money. I think he was confused money. if maybe Chapek may take I was making a joke about oh. one of the... Yeah, it's funny when I explain the jokes, but... Oh, oh my. <laughs> I got it. Oh, I, yeah. I, I, was, I was going too serious on the DuckTales, but, uh, but no. Um, actually, Iger, Iger and Tomorrow, they both jump in the money. Okay, together. all right. That's what I was looking for. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they jump in it together, and occasionally... Um, yeah, uh, a legacy or or you know former Disney cast member Wade Heath gets to join them in these escapades. Oh wow! Yeah. Mm. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to give Wade to I'm just trying to. He's like, why are you including? Give Wade Got to get a trip that. report on that one. Wade. Wow, what an honor! Uh, yeah. Oh my! Well, you went to you went to the you went to the Oscars and I went to the coronation. So Wade gets to you know jump in Disney's money pen. So okay, fair. Yeah, I just get least. left out. Yeah, I was gonna say Katrina just, doesn't exist. Just taking pictures, I guess. What about? Katrina's event's coming. Oh, coming, don't oh. Worry. forthcoming. Hers is he knows. Hers is even Bigger better. When Disney <laughs> opens up on the moon, she's going to be there. Oh, First guest oh, wow. in there. Oh. Disney's moon landing cool. coming soon. Here we go. Well, Tyler, <laughs> what would you like to see developed first with Disneyland Forward? There's a lot of uh, space that has been sort of designated for this, according to the concept art. Uh, both of the downtown Disney auxiliary parking lots on either side of the Disneyland Hotel are spaces they uh, indicate will be part of an expansion as well as the current Toy Story parking lot and next to that uh, the Pumba parking lot on the other side of the Garden Walk uh, the Anaheim Garden Walk mall that unfortunately just 
never seems to find its stride. But uh, what would you like to see develop first? I mean, for me personally, I'm I just want more lands and attractions. Like first and foremost, um, I I'm excited for whatever they're gonna bring. I honestly, to me, the least exciting thing is like Avatar. I guess I would like to see stuff that we don't have here in the states more. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'd love to see like the Frozen Land built out here, or even the Zootopia stuff, because um, those things are looking really neat. And uh, I just it's a lot harder to get out of the country, obviously, than to fly to Florida. So I would I would really like to see some of that stuff that we don't have in the states yet and i mean even maybe even bring in that beauty and the beast ride over um, from tokyo i mean that would be amazing too so um that's what i'm looking forward to seeing just the expansion bring in you know brand new experiences for all of us um that's gonna be that's gonna be what i'm looking forward to Bring on all the new experiences, uh, Richard in the live chat saying, why talk about Disneyland Ford before talking about the Avengers e-ticket ride? Amen, Richard. Get us that e-ticket ride over in Avengers yeah. Campus that has been promised to us, please. That would be that, nice. That would be nice. Yeah. I'm really happen. curious what that was supposed to be, you know? I hope we, we need to We need to take, um, you know, bets as to what's going to come first, the Tomorrowland makeover Disneyland Forever or the Avengers E-Ticket attraction, whichever mm. one comes first, mm. you know, like because we've been told all these different things and we're, we're still waiting on them. I'm still waiting for Rocket Rods to come back personally, but I don't think my dream will ever come on. I, I don't was, think so either. I yeah. was too short and then right as I got the right height, they're like, we're shutting it down. And I'm like, why? Well, yeah. Wow. Okay. Hard I'm to so imagine sad. you being too short. I, there was a time when I was short. <laughs> yeah, it's, called, it's called childhood. Yeah, the hair alone adds at I know, least yeah. another foot it, and a half. It, 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 it does, it does. Uh, it takes about three hours to get it like this. And even this, this was a two and a half hour rush job and I'm still not happy with it. And on the hypersonic jet. I mean, um, yeah, that's, that's, true. that's some yes. mad skills, buddy. So. Uh, yeah, no, well, right. Disneyland I, Forward, I, hey, hopefully uh, come in our direction soon uh, as they continue to ramp up these road shows and uh, definitely attempting to make the community a little bit more comfortable with the idea. Uh, I cannot imagine that Disney and uh, the marketing team are putting these forward without thinking, mm, we, we have something waiting in the wings here to announce fairly quickly. Why else would they be actively speaking to the community like this? Makes you wonder, doesn't it? To this happy place, welcome. 